Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of the Tao of Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Mayhem's Blitz Kit. Now this is a bit of a two part video, so I'm also in the process of putting the blue colouring back into the PC. Um, so that's going to be one video, this is going to be a separate video which is a review of the Blitz Kit. Let's jump into the credits. So this kit's definitely not for the faint-hearted guys. First thing you see on the instructions is warning. Uh, and this thing's got, it's got nasty chemicals in it, right? So it's got phosphoric acid at 0.1% and it's got four, four packs of, I think they're non-latex gloves. So um, if you spill some on these gloves, the best thing to do is take them off and chuck them away and put another set on. And you've also got yourself a pair of safety goggles and Litmus paper. Now, I can't remember the last time I saw litmus paper, so it feels very much like GCSE chemistry. Should be fun, should be fun. Now, my first observation is that these instructions tell you to flush your radiators through with part one. Guys, it's really important that you don't use part one through the whole loop. It's just for your radiators, and it should not be used on aluminium or aluminum if you're in America. It should not be used on aluminium radiators. It's only for your copper radiators. Do not use it in any other components in the loop. I've already seen videos in part one saying, yes, just, just tip a couple of drops into your current loop. Don't do that, guys, just for the radiators. The amount of time it tells you to leave it in there for feels materially over egged, if I'm honest with you. So saying six to 12 hours, probably more likely to do that for three. And part two, which is the bit that you do use through the whole loop, that's saying 12 to 24 hours. So I've never been one to subscribe to the 24 hour leak test, if I'm honest with you guys. A couple hours should be more than sufficient. And I'm not gonna subscribe to 24 hours of cleaning cleaning the system through, right? So these, these are pretty full on chemicals. They're gonna give a bloody good clean after a couple hours. I've had this loop going for nearly a year anyway, so it's right to give it a deep clean. I think a couple hours per cycle will be sufficient, but you be the judge, guys. Leave your thoughts on that down in the description and we'll see what the results look like. Frankly, guys, I can't be without the computer for two days. Okay, system's been bled thoroughly, rocked backwards and forwards. We've done about five or six rinsed through with just normal tap water right because we're going to do a deep clean on it there's always going to be a little bit of uh, residual water left in the bottom of your loop right so be careful as you start to dismantle it and take it apart we're about to see this beast in a state that we normally don't let's go so guys you'll be pleased to know i've thrown complete caution to the wind and decided to ignore the instructions and just wing it like all good men do so i'm gonna pour the highly toxic chemicals down the sink over my hat now i'm joking i'm joking right so safety first dangerous chemicals i've got my chemistry set and i've got my rubber glove well i'm mostly going to follow the instructions the instructions say 250 ml of this stuff to 750 ml of this stuff. Now, this bottle is 250 ml. The hell am I supposed to do with all the rest? You aren't going to need a litre of fluid to fill even a 560 and a 480 rad. Both of my loops each have a smidge under a litre of fluid inside them, so it's no way that I need a litre of fluid, guys. So it feels like it's a one to three mixing ratio. So we'll start with 100 mil of the nasty acid and we'll go for 300 mil of the lovely distilled water. Okay, guys, that's the end of part one for the deep clean. Now we need to wait, it says six hours, I'm probably gonna wait two and then we can reassemble the loop and we can flush it through. The reassembling of the loop, of course, will be in the vlog video of rebuilding the PC. I'm, I'm confused. Which, which video am I actually in now? Part two of the kit requires you to mix 25 mils with approximately 1,000 mils of distilled water. 
You fill your loop and bleed it of air as if you were filling it with coolant and you allow it to rinse through. You need to do this for approximately 6 to 12 hours. This is the fluid that's just been drained out of the loop. This is the part 2 from the blitz kit, hasn't been diluted at all. And you can see quite clearly in the bottom of that bowl it is full of all sorts of crap. There's paint flecks in there, there's some oxidisation that's come out and some sludge as well. So the final rinse through and flush is complete. The last thing that we need to do is drain the loop and we've got some litmus paper. That will let us test the pH balance of the water to make sure that the pH balance within the loop is where it needs to be. It needs to be somewhere between 6 or 7. Once we've done that we can get the coolant back in the system and we can get ourselves powered up. So the kit was pretty straightforward to use. It did seem to take quite a long time though. And I'm not sure that if someone can come up with a formula that halves or quarters the process without damaging the components that were in the loop. But uh, you know, it did what it said in the tin. There was a whole load of gunk that flushed out. Certainly was pH neutral at the end of the process. That said, I don't know what its pH balance was at the beginning of the process. And honest statement, the system is running a little bit cooler. So at 21 degrees, I did a test measure of the ambient temperature and the loop before I did the clean. It's two degrees cooler under load and a degree cooler at idle. I haven't even completely bled the loop yet, guys. So that's, that's pretty impressive. So all in all, good product, highly recommended. The process does take quite a long time. So there we go guys, that was an overview of the Mayhem's Blitz Kit. I hope you're well wherever in the world you are. If you're not already subscribed then please do so. If you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.